Here's a starry from Indonesia. She's on her way to meet an Australian family whose life she'll be sharing for the next four days. It is really not into my zone to live with a, with a family, with children, especially little children. So I really don't know what to do, how, how to behave, how to react around children. Um, so I'm really quite nervous for two days before I came here. The family. Andrew, Alex, Oscar, and Elijah. Do you want to show a story where she's going to sleep? Oh, what's in there? Oh, look at these. Is this you? Yep. Dad works on the desk. Yeah. Oh, Daddy's work here. Young Oscar gives a story a quick tour of the house. Is this your room? Yep. Wow. Oh, look at these. Oscar's yeah. treasure drawer. <laughs> I just love Elmo. <laughs> Let's go to Elijah's room. Ooh. That's long neck. She wakes uh -huh. baby. And what about that one? That's a long neck. Long neck too. A starry. This is my wife, Alex. Hello. Hello. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Oh, There's no time for playing with toys now. This is a busy household. As soon as Astari has put her bag down, it's time to head out again to take Elijah to childcare. It's Mommy needs to go to work. I've got to get to work. We really do. Turtle hat on. Are we ready to go? We're ready to go now. Yay, let's go. Mm. Okay, I'm off to get the train. Sorry, Starry, you're in here. Yep, I'm there. Yep. Okay. Seatbelt on, please, Oscar. Bye bye, love you. Alex is off to the train station and on her way to work. Alex and I were married in 2001. Her proposal was a cracker. She actually said, oh, do you want to get married and go and live in Dubai? And um, you know, I fell pregnant almost, in fact, actually immediately that we decided that we were going to have a child. And so Dubai was, you know, Oscar's birthplace. And because Alex is working, I got the job of being the stay-at-home dad when she went back to work, um, and I really enjoyed it. It's not an easy thing to do. You know, dads are usually the minister for fun. I'm sure if things changed again in the future, they'd um, adapt. They're pretty resilient, really. When I went back to work, um, I could only get half of what command half of what Andrew had been earning and our mortgage was set up on his previous salary so that requires extra money to come into the house one way or another whether or not it's Andrew writing stories or whether or not it's me doing extra shifts but there's there's no real spare cash at all. I'd like to think in the next few years that we can perhaps um, scale me back a bit more and scale Andrew back up because I don't want to completely miss out on the boys those special moments, you know, the sports days, the, the tuck shops, the kinds of things where kids remember whether or not you're there. <laughs> um, and then hopefully Andrew can, you know, get a bit more work and, and it'll be rosy and we'll be able to renovate our house and buy new clothes and do all of those fun things. Now it's time to meet the final member of the family. Here he is, the rabbit. And what's what's the name of the rabbit, Oscar? Douglas. Douglas. You want to jump on your bike? Yeah. OK, go and get your helmet and I'll get the bike. So Oscar usually goes to kindy? He does, yeah. So he goes two days a week. That's the time when I get to work. Oh, you so... need the free <laughs> space and time. And what about the other days? On Mondays, we go in the morning, we usually go to the pool and go swimming. Yes. Um, on Tuesdays, Oscar and Elijah go to creche. And then in the afternoons, uh, on a Tuesday, Oscar also goes to French lessons. On Wednesdays, uh -huh. um, Oscar goes off to play ball 
which is sort of like a... Soccer or...? Soccer and basketball and baseball. And then on Thursdays, it's um, creche and kindy again. Mm -hmm. And then Fridays, um, usually Alex takes um, the boys to mother's group. And uh, the weekends we have all together, and that's our family time. Wow. This time. Oscar, do you just want to wheel your bike out the front and show Astari where to go? This way? So, are there lots of dads in Australia who stayed at home, like you? Um, it's probably becoming more common. I think Alex finds it hard. Um, you know, mums have a, you know, something special that I like think a dad, bond. Yeah, that dads don't really have. Mm. And um, I think she finds it hard at time to be at work all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think um, in Australia, you know, a lot more women are, um, uh, are getting involved in careers and want, to st and want to stay in careers. I think a lot of men are regretting that they don't have, don't spend more time with their kids. So? Today, mm, I arrived at about 9.30. I was feeling very, 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 very nervous. I was afraid that the children would like me. What if, what if I make them cry? They were perfectly fine. They were gorgeous, lovely children. And they love me. Well, I think they do. I think one of the most important things I hope Astari gets out of the time here is that you know, I'm not a mother replacement, I'm a dad. You know, I think a lot of um, people have this idea that men that stay at home and take a more active role in looking after their kids are some pseudo mums. It's not the case. I think I bring different strengths to the parenting role. And I didn't want to be a stranger to... I don't want to be a stranger to my kids in the end. You know, like a lot of fathers are. I don't want to have all those regrets. So, Starry, is there anything you don't eat or um, you're not comfortable with? Um... Oh, um, I don't eat pork. That's OK. We're well, just cooking a vegetarian risotto today, oh, so... That's fine, then. So this is just straight vegetarian. Thanks, Andrew. The risotto was great. Thank you. Um, Oscar... Do you want to go with the starry for a little while while Daddy gets some work done? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, cool. Come on. Show me your toys and everything. Squawk, 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 squawk. I see the ship coming. After a busy day with the kids, Andrew gets a chance to do some of his work, writing for the local newspaper. Oh, no! The boat has been attacked. Oh, a digger found him. A digger? <laughs> <laughs> We're taking this ship. Which one is the mini pilot? That what goes oh, that to one. Don't fall, Julian! <laughs> oh, you are this boat is six years round. Don't fall, Julian! Now it's time to pick up Elijah from childcare. <laughs> Strap your wings. How you been? Good, mate. Good. This is... I'd like to introduce you to Astari. Hello. Hi, well, Chris. welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank Chris, you. Nice Chris is another stay-at-home dad. Oh. He's taking six months off from... He's a school teacher. Oh, how many children do you have? I've got two children, yeah. One's painting and the other one's playing with his bionicle toys at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and there's uh, Dave, another, another um, guy down the street. He also stays at home with his kids as well. Mm. So it's, this is kind of a street full of um, stay-at-home dads. Yeah, <laughs> very different from where I come from. Daddy. Really? Yeah. There are not so much dads stay at home while well, the moms Daddy, work, my, you know. Both of them are working me. most of the time. Yeah. Oh, well, I can recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, one of them's out the back painting, so by now he's probably painting the walls, so I better <laughs> head back in and see how he's going. All right, okay. then. We'll, we'll see, see you around. around. OK, okay. cheers. Bye. See Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. I was expecting uh, a real chaos in the house. You know, like um, the children are running around the house screaming and crying and the father are trying to organize breakfast 
and the mother is getting ready for work. Oscar and Elijah, they had been pretty well behaved. Mm. And Andrew, uh, I think he's pretty organized and doing all the house chores today. Hey everybody, how are Starry attends her first mother's group with Andrew. Everybody, this is Astari. Hello. Uh, this is up in Indonesia. This is Kara. Kara, hi, nice to meet you, Kara. There you go. That's Kat. Oh. <laughs> hi, Kat. And Rebecca's wrestling Elijah over there. Oh. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, how are you? So this is mother's group. Mother's group. Yeah. And dad. And dad. Mother's and dad, yeah. <laughs> So you're always gathering like this every yeah, day? Yeah, we gather most Friday mornings. And it depends, sometimes someone's house or sometimes a play centre. So how do you know each other? The maternal Child Health Nurse introduces you all and you have structured sessions with them for a while. In the beginning it's really good because you can you help each other. You're really stressed about motherhood and all the rest of it, or fatherhood in Andrew's case. We do have one like a gathering of family most of the time and friends in Indonesia. they called Arisan. But they, we rarely do it like weekly because of the time. Yeah. Where we don't have much time because yeah. everybody's working and they retire and everything. And it usually never like the dad. No, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So only the mom. So yeah. how do you find it? Isn't it odd, like awkward, like with Andrew in here and? Well, I think really? maybe we'd probably met him before a few times with Alex or out about in the park. So no, it wasn't any different really. Depends on the dad. Andrew's pretty good. Can I have a go? Oski, do you want to give Hannah a go in a minute? Just in one minute? You have a couple of goes, then give Hannah a go. I think what makes it easier in my home is that we can have a nanny and maid. Yeah. So that really makes it much easier. Yeah. yeah. A lot of us don't have families in town, so what we do is we share the responsibility, so we help each other by babysitting, by pickups and drop-offs, and by just different plays at different kids' houses and that sort of thing. So we're really almost like a little family who support each other. Yeah, we babysit for each other so we can go out for dinner and, you know, have a bit of company. That's right, have a life. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan for today? For today, mm -hmm. with the kids? Yep. Or, yeah, they just we just let them run and we chat and eat cake. <laughs> <laughs> Dari heads into the city to meet Alex at her workplace. Hello, darling. <laughs> <laughs> you must be getting very tired after all of this. Uh, not really. How's your day? Yeah, no, it's OK. I know from Andrews why he chose to be staying in the house. But what about you? Um, it, it, for me, it's just, it's really a matter of, of financials. You know, I was able to bring in enough money for us to do that. Mm -hmm. And it, um, and I don't have any problems with men doing that as a job. So you know, really? the fact that he wants to do it and can do it is, is fine. Normally the boys often wait for me on that corner and wave as we're coming really? out. Yeah. So, which is really nice. <laughs> um, particularly if I've had a bad day and it's so nice to see them. And we're here, home. And now for the best part of Alex's day, some quality time with the children. Can you give me some star, Oscar? Just one. Just one. Okay, just one. Then. Don't be too generous there, Oscar. No. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I need some. Mine's going to go very fast. Mm. Do you think? Yeah. Well, and what should we do with the big boats when we finish them? Uh, sail them. Where are we going to sail them? To in the puddle. In the puddle. In the puddle. Mm. I bet it's going very fast. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Oh, oh, oh. oh they float really well. <laughs> oh. Okay, off you go. I'll start it from and have a bit of a race with Oscar. Oh, 
It's been fantastic. Yeah. She's really gelled with the boys and I think she's been run off her feet, but um, anybody who doesn't have kids is gonna have a bit of a shock when they arrive in a house with two, you know, high energy boys. With the boys washed and in their pajamas, there is still time for a dinosaur game before bed. It's my second day here and I think I'm getting better with the children. At least today we played dinosaur and then we made boat and we played in the rain. That's a good one. Yeah, I think I did well today. Hold on, I'm moving it again. Mmm, smell delicious. Mmm. Mm. Andrew is making something. Yes. So the longer I can keep the boys out of the way, the better. <laughs> It's Saturday, but that doesn't mean there's time to relax. The house won't clean itself. that the library books are now in your bookshelf. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oops, no, that's the... That's the library book and the reading part. Hey guys, do you want to come and get a, grab a snack? Omelette? Sit up, boys. Oh, oh. oh good cutting. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Dave? Mm. Yeah? This is yummy. Oh, thank you, Oscar. <laughs> Astari has fitted in so easily oh, to our family. And that extra pair of hands has been wonderful. Oh, Elijah, Astari, he is so ready. He's going to be three next week. Oh. And then look at that. Oh, well oh, done, Great Elijah. job. Big boy well now. Do you, want to use, do you want to use my knife? The weekend is also the time for Andrew to bake bread. So you do this every weekend, Andrew? Um, we usually, we usually um, do bread two or three times a week. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, for a few reasons, it, you know, it's something I can do with the boys. Also, we can save a lot of money by doing it ourselves, and it's it's something, you know, it's something really nice and easy. I never made bread until I started staying home with the boys. I is it, is it sticky? You can see. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe we take the chef's hat off now. There we go. Okay, no, but it's yeah. yeah. No. You get some more flour on your hands. Yeah. Oh, this is so cute. We might make some bread and we could send the bread up to you. Yep. We, we could send, send it to send you. Send the bread up to you in Indonesia. Yep. That sounds like a good That's plan. That's wonderful. I need some more clean food. Mm -hmm. And we just cover it over. I need some clean food. And we'll sit it, sit it on the stove and it'll be finished in 20 minutes. Um, usually take the boys to the park to try and wear them out. It's all, everything we do is designed to wear out the boys so they'll <laughs> sleep well at night. I think Astari has had a really good chance to understand what it's like to be in a family, an active family in this age group where there are no down moments. You know, when you're tired, you just have to keep on going. And now that the boys have been worn out, it's time for bed. Oh, peekaboo! Peekaboo! Let's play! The moon. Oh, up here. That one is night bugs. Oh. Coming out of the cave, what have you got? Breakfast? Are they having a fish for their breakfast? Go to sleep, good night. The mother moon is watching throughout the darkening skies. 
Do you want to bring the bread to the table? Pop it up on the table. It's Astari's last day in the house and a chance to enjoy the homemade bread. Ah, there we go. Make some toast for breakfast. Yep. There we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. There we go. Elijah and I sharing. Mmm. All right. Mm. This is good. Good. Mmm. Mm. Bread and jam. Yummy. For the first time this week, the whole family gets to spend some time together. Well, it's nice to actually be out today. Yeah, I rarely see you, like, the four of you together. Oh, I think oh, we, we fight really hard for our uh, free, uh, free time and weekends together. That's why we don't really do anything else other than family together things. It's very difficult. Uh, Elijah basically doesn't want to leave me at all on the weekend, so... Um, but Oscar also needs, you know, you know, some time just with me because, I mean, he's older and he needs to do different things. There's my little Speedy Gonzales. <laughs> After spending a few days with the family, um, I'm beginning to feel more comfortable with Andrew is the one who's taking George at the house and Alex being the one who's making the money. I don't think it really matters who does what because in the end, it all means that the children are happy. I give Andrew and Alex two thumbs up. Oh. <gasps> That's good of you. Oh. Here he is. How are you? Here he is. Oh, you want to miss me? A bit too oh. late, Elijah. Hey, Elijah, look what I've got for you. Elijah. It's your birthday next week, isn't it? Elijah, I've got some present for you. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look at the ball. <gasps> In terms of what Astari's got out of it, I hope that she has come to understand that our lives are much like hers in many respects. Her family life is full of love and being together you know, spending quality time with one another. You know, we're just ordinary people just like her. Oh, Elijah loves a red car. Right, the good car. Bye. 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 I think the most important thing is that I, we hope we haven't put a starry off having children because, you know, they can be full on, um, they can be tiring, but they are the most wonderful joy that you can have. And <laughs> yes, hopefully she'll remember all the good bits and not just the tiring bits. And now it's time to say goodbye. Oh, it's, been so mm. it's been just lovely. Thank you oh, for everything. Oh. Yes, with the bees. <laughs> mm. I'm going to miss you. Oh, little boy. Little boy. Okay, Andrew, I'll thank you me. for everything. It's been great I to love meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. And Astari heads off for her next. Australian adventure. Thank you, you too. See you in Chicago. See you. <laughs> Bye. 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 I love dinosaur. I love dinosaur. <laughs> Daddy, <get> <laughs>